酔いはいいですか Hey guys, John Crims2000 here for part 3 of Let's Play Project Justice Story Mode in Tayo High School. I accidentally, at the end of part 2, I accidentally said that that video was the end of part 1 and to look out for part 2, so I, I apologize. This is part 3. Um, so anyway, here we go. We continue on with our fight with Demon Hio as Kiyosuke. Um, as I mentioned before in my previous videos, that I'm going to be doing the... I guess the branching path of this uh, of this story mode of this team of Tayo High School, um, and I'm going to be showing it after this battle because I figured that um, you know it's 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 a cool battle. <laughs> in case you guys wanted to to see how to defeat Demon Heal one more time, even though we're probably going to be doing this um, a number of times actually, um, as you know, as you pick other teams and stuff like that. So, it's not like you only face Demon Heo with just Tayo High School. You face him with pretty much all of them. But anyway, um, here we go. I was so close to beating Demon Heo, and once again, I died with Kiyosuke. I don't know what it is with Kiyosuke in this game, but it seems that I always get KO'd when I played him, when I play as Kiyosuke, I always get KO'd him with him the first time that I face the opponent, like the first round, and then the second round I just completely own him. Like I, I, I mean, I did, I did that in my battle against Hio in the in the previous part, and I'm gonna be doing that in this part too with with Demon Hio. I don't know, I don't know what it is really. I mean, look at this. Like I am. I, again, it looks like I'm mad. I really, I'm really not. I think I'm just like, grr, like I'm not gonna let you beat me up in while I'm capturing this footage. And I finished him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you defeat Demon Heo as Taya High School on the regular path. But wait, if, for ex uh, as I mentioned before, if in the second battle when you're facing the Seijun High School um, team of Akira, Zaki, and Eureka if you lose with Batsu as I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna skip the battle um, here I've just been beaten by Batsu. Batsu is mandatorily, if that's a word, the first person that you face, uh, that you sent out like the game doesn't let you pick Hinata or Kiyosuke first, it, it's always gonna be Batsu first. If you lose with him in this fight, it has to be in this fight. It'll trigger kind of like a, a different cutscene that you guys will see in a little bit, um, and that's gonna let you progress on a different path than you would normally. So it's gonna, this is gonna be a different playthrough, or, or, or rather, it's gonna be a different storyline than the previous, I guess, parts when I just, you know, instead of losing, I actually, I actually won this battle. And in fact, that that's pretty much the same way with a lot of these, um, or not a lot of these teams, but some of these teams, there's going to be branching parts and stuff like that, so there, I am going to have to replay them uh, a number of times in order to get all of the, you know, all of the storyline bits, since this is storyline mode, you know. I mean, you guys are probably watching this because of the storyline, otherwise you would just watch the free mode. And I won with Hinata. I love using Hinata. I actually have more fun using her than Sakura, but, you know, whatever, that's just me. And now we go against Kiyosuke against Eureka. can't remember if I lose with Kiyosuke. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I did. With my track record using him thus far. Anyway, a little bit of trivia. Akira, um, which is the girl that we just faced with Hinata. Akira was slated to appear in the cancelled Capcom um, Fighting All-Stars, which was going to be a 3D game, sort of like, um, it was going to combine a whole bunch of characters from the different Capcom, you know, games and stuff like that, including uh, Strider from, obviously Strider, um, Ryu and Chun-Li, and Mike Hager from Final Fight, and Akira was going to represent um, rival schools. But that game got cancelled, and we got stuck with Capcom Fighting Jam, which I am planning on doing a, a Let's Play of that. Joy. Anyway, here we go. 
Batsu, are you okay? Hmm. You disappoint me. Where did your high spirits go? You can't be the real Batsu. He's a much better fighter. This is a waste of my time. See ya. Oh man, this is so embarrassing. It's not so bad. These things happen. Save your sympathy for someone else. I won't forgive myself for this. Run away. Hey, Batsu! So as you guys saw, this that was completely different from my first run through of this game. Or, this storyline mode with Taiyo High School. Batsu, where did he go? I don't know, but he needs to figure things out for himself, and we can't help him with that. Let's leave him alone for a while. Hey, you there. Is Batsu with you? Shoma, what do you want with Batsu? That Batsu person has been stalking me. And just now he chased me and tried to attack me. I was so scared. Oh, Shoma. Okay, okay, I understand. Don't stand so close to me. Anyway, now you know the situation. Ugh. That's what we want to know, but Batsu would never do such things. You know that. It must be some kind of misunderstanding. Are you sure it was really Batsu who was chasing you? Sobbing. Never mind, just forget it. You won't believe me no matter what I say. Sob, sob. That's okay. Hey, hey, I told you not to cling to me like that. Hmm. Wait, are you covering for Batsu? Hey, you should be ashamed of yourself for suspecting your old for suspecting your old friend. Chairperson, why are you here? That scuffle at the Taiyu Pacific Athletic event and the incident at Ghetto High, I'm very concerned. This is the time for us to cooperate with each other, yet yeah, yeah, look at you, arguing foolishly. Shame on you. And, as I mentioned before, Chairperson is her name, which is kind of funny. I'm going to be trying to play as Chairperson, but one thing you guys have to know is that I'm not very good at her. I find her kind of slow. Um, her A lot of her moves leave her wide open, so I'm going to get beat up in this. I actually can't remember if I... If I win. And I know I, I say a bunch of times uh, in not just this Let's Play, but in my previous Let's Play too, that I don't remember what happens in my videos. Uh, it's not that I have horrible memory. It's just, you, you guys have to understand, like I'm doing multiple videos at once and they all kind of blend together. <laughs> anyway, chair, um, well, before I talk about chairperson, as you guys saw right there, um, we kind of branched off on a different, on a different path than we did in the first, I guess, the first time that we went through this story mode with this team. This, on in this episode, it would have been where, um, actually I can't remember. I think it would be the time when we would be at the Ziggy Amusement Park uh, facing off against Momo and Eureka. But instead, we're here with Hinata and Kiyosuke. Um, without Batsu, and we're facing off against Shoma Mom and Momo, and then now we have Chairperson coming into the mix. So as you guys can see, it branches off. You guys get to see different storylines, and in this case, um, we see kind of like a different version of the story. I, I highly doubt that this is all coinciding at the same time, since th at this point, um, even if it were to happen all at, on, the, on the same storyline, it wouldn't make sense because Hinata would would be captured as she, you know as we saw before she got captured and in this storyline in this branch she doesn't so um anyway chairperson is kind of uh awesome and it's one of those things where it's like um kind of makes me question whether capcom intended for the street fighter and the rival schools canon to kind of coincide with one another the reason i say this is that in her her fighting style as you guys saw right there with some of her moves it's karate like traditional karate however storyline wise the way that she was or the way that she learned this particular karate style was through a male order and guess what fighting style she uses take a wild guess she happens to be a student of or I guess not a student not direct student but she learned her fighting style by watching videotapes of Don Hibiki from Street Fighter. The same Don, the, the, the pink wearing guy who thinks he's all that, but really isn't. Apparently, in this storyline at least, he makes like vi like mail order videos show like of him teaching you how to do karate. 
and apparently chairperson that's how she learned karate so a little bit of trivia I know it's uh, I know I know guys it's like dude why do we even want to know this we just want to see the game but I thought it was kind of interesting and, and again it's kind of like one of those things where it's like well if you don't if Capcom didn't want doesn't want rival schools and Street Fighter happening all at once you know it, it's like well why do you make all these little references between the two games you know Sakura was in the first game and now a chairperson you know learning her fighting style from Dan or Dunn or however you want to say his name it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> But anyway, um, in this story, in this, I guess, this branch of the story mode, Batsu has kind of run away because um, he lost the match and he's always kind of like, you know, he doesn't want to lose the match, so he's kind of run off and kind of, they've, uh, Kyosuke and Hinata want to give him his space, so we won't be seeing him for a while, unfortunately. And I just beat Momo with Kyosuke. Because I'm awesome, and I have red hair. And I mean, Kyosuke has red hair. I don't. I don't have red hair. <laughs> Tell Batsu that I won't forgive him for this. Shoma, wait. You're so cool, Shoma. And you're so gullible. It makes things so much easier. Say what? And as far as for you guys, quit sniffing around. You'll only make trouble for me. Huh? What does that mean? I don't know. Did I say something? I don't remember. Shoma, please wait for me. Who's that girl? And the plot thickens. Now we're on to episode four. What's this? What happened? Hayato, are you alright? Hang in there. So you finally showed up. I was just playing with these guys since I had a lot of time to kill. Be on guard, everyone. That person is not Batsu. So, you're the imposter. You deliberately made people suspect Batsu had caused problems amongst my friends. I won't let them get away with that. I'm trying, guys. I, I really am. But anyway, here we go. We're fighting... Uh, his. They call him Batsu, but for whatever reason, his his name is known as Vatsu, with a V. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. And again, this is a solo encounter. This would be the part of the of the previous storyline where we would be, we would have been facing Hio, but you know, since we took a different path, we're not fighting Hio. We're fighting Vatsu instead. And you, as you guys can probably tell already by the life gauge of Flatsu, this is one of those times where it's like no matter what we do we can't win this is a storyline fight we're not supposed to win so the game won't let us win at all his defense is like mad crazy and like our defense is pretty much really weak so there's no way I can win as much as I'm trying right now and we're done <laughs> But don't worry guys, this has to happen, this is part of the storyline. It's not that I suck, you need to lose this match, there's no other way. Unfortunately. Hee hee hee, see what happens when you try to defy me, you silly little amateurs. Hinata, ugh, my body. However, I can't let you be destroyed yet, I still need to work, work for me. Why would I work for you? You think that just by beating me in a fight you suddenly have control? Ah. I'm impressed by your boldness, but you really should learn to be more careful with yourself. And we have trouble, guys. But anyway, this is the end of part three. I will see you in part four as we see Vatsu here choking on Hinata.